to finally have the ceremony get ready to start. I'll walk you up. <laughs> and I look over, and there's already people crying. I'm like, oh my God, there's people crying already. Don't start crying yet. You look nice. Thank you. Just because of everything that we've been through as a family, seeing him get married is a huge deal for me. And if I was going to be OK and extremely happy about anyone marrying my brother, it would be Lizzie. There's no one else that I would want to be a part of our family than her. With me walking monster and down the aisle, I really felt like he was super happy. And you know, now they're just going to be a real family was a little reminder that he is going to pass soon because he is coming down on a wagon. So it was tears, but tears of joy that uh, he made it that far. When I saw her for the first time and, and how beautiful she looked, I just kind of broke down into tears. Just. Everything was just so perfect. Ready? It was so perfect. It was so magical. It was pretty special. It was pretty special. I didn't even prepare a speech. <laughs> um, you know, each of my kids has their own distinct personality, and Mo was always the butterfly. He hates me calling him that, but he was always my butterfly <laughs> because he always was so, he just saw the good in everybody and he just wanted everyone to be his friend. So he would just flutter from like flower to flower, <laughs> making friends. And he always used to say, you know, how are we going to find someone who's going to protect him like we do? Along came this little thing right here. As corny as it sounds, it was their love of dogs that brought them together. That's how they met. And I knew that Lizzie was the one. So to that I say, this is your last flower butterfly. This is it. This is the last flower you're going to have to land on. To know that Lizzie's going to be there now to protect him, to watch out for him. That's my kind of girl.